YouTube baby. So today we're going to be talking about TikTok. So a lot of people are actually confused on if it's still beneficial to create a new TikTok, still post on TikTok, or even just do TikTok in general. Today we're going to be talking about reasons as to why you should still keep posting on TikTok. Reason number one is that channels can blow up literally overnight. There are tons of creators that I've seen that have started out with, you know, maybe a hundred followers. And then next thing you know, they've literally blossomed to have 10,000 followers. And then they're in creator programs. And they have a different array of ways that they can, you know, get monetized on there. You don't want to miss out on these things because TikTok really works in little sections. So, you know, with YouTube, it's kind of like you have two ways of getting monetized and that's pretty much it. You know, you could either join their partner program where you can have 500 watch time and then once you, or no, 500 subscribers and 3000 of watch time and then next thing you know, you're a partner. And with that program, all you're able to do is either create memberships, sell merch, or you know have super chats but let's say that you know the 500 people that have subscribed to you aren't really that engaged with your content it's still going to be kind of you know hard to get to that level that you want to get to especially if you don't have the power of the ads to assist you reason number two with tiktok it's a whole nother ball game so with tiktok you know uh, if you have a thousand um followers then you can start to go live and you can start to get um, go live and be able to receive the perks from there. So you can get gifts and everything and gifts, they're ranked. So you could either cash out with as low as a penny or you could cash out to maybe even have something as high as like, I think a thousand dollars. The more you go live, the more you experience it. Then there's also just many different perks that comes with going live. You can build your engagement, get build more following, everything like that. And it really is just in the power of you holding your cell phone. There's the TikTok shop creator program, which I recently got invited to. Well, actually I've been invited there. I just didn't really know exactly what the perks was. Cause you know, TikTok is literally in all these different sections, but there's so many vast areas that you can gain with TikTok. Reason number three is that even though TikTok has been in the talks of getting banned, we really don't know what the state of the app is going to be. But, you know, I wouldn't stop doing what you're doing with the app because once again, it's so multifaceted that you don't know when you're going to blow up. A good example is I seen a woman and I started following her page and she was doing like a lot of teaching people about the TikTok affiliate programs and how you can make so much money and the amounts of money she's created. And she's really just built this empire now with TikTok. After watching her content for so long, I decided to go back to her page a week later and then I noticed she had 11K from at first having 8,000. She was then in, introduced into the content creator program where she's paid per minute on TikTok. I would say never give up with the app because you just don't know what you can really achieve with the app. Reason number four is that a lot of people are actually getting invited into the programs over on TikTok and they didn't even know that they were invited or didn't even know that they had the capabilities of doing things that they are able to do. TikTok actually mysteriously moved down the goalposts for their uh, TikTok creator program, their TikTok shop creator program. And they actually moved it down from it being 5K to who knows what amount that you need now to get accepted in. After editing, I realized that this may be an attempt for TikTok to get more users to be on its side to abolish the ban in general and keep the ban from even happening altogether. With that being said, that means that you could probably have a thousand subscribers when at first you needed 5,000 and you now have the capabilities of receiving those same exact perks that so many other creators on TikTok have received. So reason number five is that there are literally different ways that you can blow up on TikTok. I have 15 different niches that I'll explain to you guys in the next video. And it doesn't really even just stop at those 15 niches. You really have to do your research and you'll be able to achieve great 
masses of success. I'm actually thinking about starting a new niche on TikTok and starting a new channel. And you know, maybe I'll include you guys in on my journey of me starting a new TikTok. But I honestly want this to be me just testing the waters of TikTok. And now that I am aware of what things work and what things don't work, me just trying out something new and seeing what ends up happening. I'm gonna definitely go ahead and leave you guys these tips. If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about TikTok content and creation in general, then just keep thumbs upping these videos and I will continue to keep you guys a part of this journey. Also, if you guys need any filming material and you guys love the lighting of this video or you guys just need inspiration of different content creation items that you need to be successful, I'll have them linked in the description box down below. But that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!